So, we are on uh, Regal Princess and we are in B312 cabin on a Baja deck. And there's Polly Morgan. Good morning. <laughs> and yes, it really is the morning I'm up. <laughs> so, there's stars in the main room, shall we, Paul? It's not the biggest cabin in the world, is our first impression, no. isn't it? But it's been a very comfortable cabin. Princess beds, we've heard that they were really comfortable, and it's true. They oh, are, aren't they, Paul? Very, very, very good. Um, very comfortable. We've slept really well. Um, fabulous uh, cotton linen. It does feel very luxurious. Yes. We like to stroke the linen. <laughs> No, we don't. Um, but anyway, so over here, there's two areas really in this cabin. This one, which has got your, your tea and coffee facilities. Um, Plug-wise, there's not lots, is there? We've got, um, if you take our little adapter out there, because we've got a little adapter with two USBs in it. Um, so you've got round pins, and then you've got the kettle um, plug. And over here, you've got, um, if you take that one out as well, Paul, because I'm sure that's the flat. Yeah, so the American flat pins. So that's two um, adapter, you know, so two, plugs. two plugs. Yeah. yeah, and that's the whole room. Yeah. There's no USB plugs by the beds. Um, Unless there's some hidden away that we don't know. Yeah, so well, we can't find them. We've looked everywhere. What? <laughs> No. So, but storage, plenty of storage in the court. Yeah. Loads of storage. Um, but that's the only one chair in here. There's no sofa or sitting area. Um, but it's fine. This side we've got, this is just where we've popped all our bit of mass and bits and bobs. And it's got a fridge, which um, hasn't got a mini bar in or anything, but it's just where we've collected water um, when we've been out and about. And, uh, yeah. So it's nice to have a fridge to have cold water. We've got the TV, which you can access, obviously, as you can in the accounts um, and channels. If Paul got the remote there, I'll get him to put that on while I show you around the, the bathroom area. And he can show you what happens with the TV. So as you come in through the main door here, you've got all your master station stuff on there. There is a card that goes in the slot to keep all the um, electric go in because now we've got the ocean medallion yes. and as soon as you walk in you get to a like a walk-in wardrobe area which initially we thought oh that's really good that's the benefits of lots of people who do a cabin tour the moment they get to the cabin but we've had a couple of days to permeate how we like this permeate. and really because carol's only got a little bit at the side of her bed she tends to do most of her getting ready here yeah which then means you can't only one person can get in here because once one person's here, yeah. you can't get in the bathroom. Yeah, you can't get in that cupboard. We've so initially been... we thought it was good. Yes. Now we think it's in not practice. So good. We've been in yeah. here. This is our third day, and in practice, um, we keep getting in each other's way, don't we? Yeah. Keep getting on each other's nerves. Yeah, but that's just normal. That's <laughs> no. what we do with the cabin tour. But anyway, but there is a lot of hanging space. Yeah. You've got um, shelf at the top where you've got your life jackets, which we didn't have to take anywhere. You'll see in our vlogs, uh, which I'll put a link here. How muster works with Princess. If Paul opens that cupboard just there not the bath the cupboard first oh, the cupboard, yeah. um just so i can show you the safe because it's heard, when you say cupboard i should have realized <laughs> yeah. so more storage and a digital safe which is decent size isn't it, it? Is it's got a size. small laptop in um and an ipad but wouldn't get a, a normal size you know a, a big laptop we've got some dressing games which was lovely um and we've not got any status with princess have we no. and again because of the storage area i mean two suitcases yeah nestled in there so they're not in your way in the room which is like i said is good but it's yeah pros and cons really it is pros and cons we're ready for the bathroom and here we have the bathroom which is not huge either but actually it works well doesn't it paul yeah. um don't have to explain what a bathroom's got. It's got everything that you need. Uh, shower. No, shower curtain, which um, is not our favourite thing, as you probably know if you've watched our, our vlogs. Got the shopping line, shopping line? Yeah. Washing line. Um, and you've got, obviously, complimentary toiletries. And it's got a little ledge here, which you can put your foot up to shave your legs or where we put the toilet roll. 
because actually when you are sat on the toilet um, you have to twist around to get the toilet yeah, roll so that's our but it is to be fair even though it's a, a shower curtain which is in our favour right? it it's, is a fair size it is it's a good good size shower so and fairly yeah. powerful isn't yeah, it yeah. not yeah. brill but yeah so yeah so happy with the bathroom well happy with the cabin really yeah. though I think in reality because um, when we go out here in reality we would we booked a guaranteed balcony cabin, which Paul will open up the door now. Um, and we'll show you what we mean. We'd heard on Regal Princess that the balconies weren't deep. And that's true, they're not deep. Um, but it's been fine. You see here, you can just about get your two chairs in. We're travelling with Paul's dad and sister, and we've opened up the balcony with a divider here. You can just get the cabin steward to open it for you. So we've got a really nice extended area where we can all sit out, have our coffees, and watch the world go by. So um, do check if you book a cabin on the ship that it does have a divider that can do that, um, because I'm not sure all can. But it's, a, it's an okay cabin, yeah. but not the biggest. But Balcony. Balcony, yes, yeah, yeah. sorry. So, um, and back to the TV, you could do... There's lots going on with Princess and Ocean Medallion. Everyone's going mad about the Ocean Medallion. And some people, like Paul's dad, um, who is not into tech, he doesn't even have a smartphone. Um, it can be quite... Well, it's not difficult. There are ways around it. So if you're not into tech and you just want to, to lock your um, phone in the safe, then you can do lots of things and find out information on your TV, yeah. which is... But we don't have to go through everything because you no, can see it's, it's all on there. It's all on there. And if you want some normal, I mean, they've got movies, and they've got TV, yeah. they've got, and it's all sort of, it's almost like a like a sky planner type thing. It's all yeah, in there already. It is. There's not, there's not loads going on live television wise, but there's loads of TV series. There's loads of movies if you want. You know, if you wanted a quiet night in. Yeah, it's all there, which we then. don't, do we? We don't use the telly a lot. And you've got all your dying in. Yeah, you want to see what's available, you can look, You can check menus, and also you can check your account to make yeah. sure, which we do recommend you do daily, because mistakes do happen. So, yeah, so this is our guaranteed balcony cabin that we booked on the Regal Princess. As we said, it's been fine. We're here for four days. If we're here for two weeks, I might find it a little bit frustrating. Yeah, no, totally, yeah. um, so in, keep that in mind if you're doing a longer cruise and you want a bit more space, then don't book a guaranteed standard balcony. Book, have a look at the floor plans and the deck plans and book yourself a deluxe balcony. Because I think if we came on the ship again, which I would because it's a lovely yeah, ship, yeah. then that's something that we would think about. So hopefully you found this uh, review helpful. Um, we've got lots of other cruising information, so watch these videos next.